Da war's gut, ja. My family and I visited the northern Dutch island of Tessel for its famous Tessel skydive a stroll through the Slufter National Park and swallowing down some freshly caught oysters. Now these are my 15 best things to do on the northern Dutch island of Tessel. Welcome to Tessel! Tessel is a gorgeous island about an hour drive north of Amsterdam and counts seven villages and is known for its outdoor activities, local produce and its unique Dutch culture. In order to get to the island, hop on the Tessel ferry. This ferry ride takes about 20 minutes. Once on the island, it was time for our first treat, Brewskies. All right, so let's grab a few beers at the Tessel Brewery. Tessel is famous for its local brew called Skumkoppen, which translates to white caps. This special beer is a Weissenbeer with an alcohol percentage of 6% and made from the fresh filtered dune waters of Tessel. Make sure to try out their tiny beer sampler. All right, so it's time for a taste test. Cheers. Wow, very tasty. Now the best activity on Tessel has to be the Tessel skydive. Tessel is considered by many skydivers one of the best locations in the world. It was our mom's birthday, so we thought it would be a good idea to all jump out of an airplane to celebrate. But in order to do so, we had to bring our alcohol levels down in order to jump. So great time to browse the next door War Museum of Tessel. Here you will learn everything about Tessel during World War II and the liberation of the Netherlands from the Nazis. Ashtrays. People used to smoke on airplanes. When all sobered up, it's time to jump. If you want to see my entire skydiving video, then make sure to click on the link that appears on your screen right now. Now this can be a pricey experience. It's roughly 200 euros for a tandem jump and another 100 euros for a dedicated camera person. But an experience you will treasure for the rest of your life. And we're back! The biggest village on Tessel is called Denburg and is known for its large church. Denburg has a cozy public square with little patios. This is where you should order another Skoenkoppe beer. Did you know that Tessel enjoys 30% more sun compared to the other parts of the Netherlands? So a good reason to escape the Tessel on a rainy day. Another popular village on the island is De Koog, on the west end of Tessel. In De Koog, I recommend you grab dinner at Eigenwijs. And try out their local lamb stew. Nice. This place is also where we celebrated my mom's birthday dinner. We're all done, it's time for some ice cream. Have you ever heard of these unique flavors? Check this out, a local Dutch flavor. June Dorn and Advocaat. The Koog is also known as the party village of Tessel. Make sure to go here for a fun night out. Besides being known as the party village of Tessel, it is also known for its annual fun fair and fireworks show. Knock yourself out on this local boxing ball. Put those knuckles to work, son. <laughs> The next morning, jump into a set of rain boots and visit the beautiful Slufter National Park. This place in the entire Wadden Sea is a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Behind me is the Slufter, the national park of Tessel. We are here actually with a forestry trooper who is showing us around. The park offers all kinds of interesting Dutch wildlife and mesmerizing natural scenery. It's a sea lavender leaf. Whoa, sea salt? Sea salt. Sea salt. Tasty. The Wadden Zee is the largest tidal area in the entire world. Nowhere else can you discover such a dynamic landscape. Since you are already wearing rain boots, you may want to opt in for the oyster harvesting hunt. Tessel has the freshest oysters I've ever eaten in my entire life. <laughs> Prost! Gezondheid! 
I mean, look at the size of these suckers. Yes, 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 yes. They were so deliciously creamy inside, which must have been due to their massive size. It's the biggest oyster I've ever seen in my entire life. This was something I've never experienced before, and it changed my perception of oysters altogether. So if you're absolutely crazy about oysters, definitely put Tessol on your bucket list. Now, after all that salt, you may be in the mood for something sweet. So a perfect excuse to drop by the local bakery, Timmer. Fresh from the bakery, a Tessol's kikje, and the pink one is a hunger point. Mmm. That's extremely creamy. Marsipine and some cream. Or go all out at the ice cream farm Labora. This is a famous Tessel ice cream farm where fresh milk is literally produced by the cows on site. You should try some of these local Dutch flavors like Boerenjongens and Kwark. A true local delicacy, the strawberry knoerk. Whoa, you gotta try this. In the back of the farm, you can watch the cows being milked by a giant milk robot. Automation at its finest. Go back in time to the Dutch Golden Age at Museum Kaapskill. Kaapskill! When the entire coastline of Tessel was swarming with massive Dutch merchant vessels. <laughs> waiting for the right winds to set sail to Asia, Africa and the rest of the world. And on the top floor, you'll find all the artifacts they found on the bottom of the sea. This is why Tessel used to be the biggest anchorage place in the entire world. Called the Rede van Tessel in Dutch. Behind me! is the main anchor spot. Thousands and thousands of ships covered the entire horizon here. The museum also displays recent Dutch history and living practices. Toilets weren't common in your house. So what they used to have were toilets right at the creek. So when you take a dump, it ends up right in the river. Oh, 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 oh! That was good, yeah. After, head to the northern beach of Tessel and participate in a Dutch beach ritual called Uitwaaien, which literally means airing yourself inside out, mostly translated to hanging out to dry. It smells good. It smells like seaweed salad. And make sure to climb the Tessel lighthouse to get some great views of the North Sea and the entire island. They really shelled the hell out of this lighthouse. Look at these bullet holes. Cheese is extremely popular in Holland. On Tessel, they even have a local cheese cafe, solely meant for cheese tasting. Real Dutch cheese from Tessel. Um, cheese at its finest. This thing is great. This is stinging nettle cheese. It's very herpy. But amazing. Don't forget to buy some beer cheese and stinging nettle cheese for the road trip back. Beer cheese. Quite delicious. All the cheeses you could ever dream of. And they got plenty. If time permits, drop by Ekumara to see the animals of Tessel, including these cute seals during their lunch break. And finally, a great accommodation. Consider the Kifit, run by Mr. Dirk. Dirk transformed the entire place into a hilarious gadget hotel, where every item is controllable from behind his bar. Even the lamps and the ceiling fan. You really got wires everywhere. This whole place is wired. Are gonna do so? That's handy. That's, a, that's incredible! Come in, the It's one giant booby trap. Guaranteed a great spot for a few good laughs and make a few new friends. <laughs> they also serve typical Dutch breakfast, like chocolate and sugar sprinkles for on your sandwich. And don't forget to try my personal favorite, kip satay. Chicken satay with peanut sauce. <laughs> mm -hmm. Thanks again for watching, guys. Now make sure to smash that like button and subscribe and make sure to share this video with all your friends that like skydiving and eating oysters. Oh, and let's not forget my bonus tips. Try some local fish at the Tessel Fish Market, located next to Kaapskill Museum. Mm. Grab a coffee and check out this military-grade periscope at the North Cap Beach Pavilion. Coffee time at the North Cap. And how about a quality Tessel dinner at the Worstel Tent? Oh, and if you want more information about Tessel, and the prices and how to drive there from Amsterdam, then make sure to visit reformat.com. Sadly, we've come to the end of this video, but don't worry guys, there's always these two episodes that I recorded on Tessel as well. The Tessel snack review and a dedicated video of our skydive. Make sure to check them out and I'll see you again next week.